Page Insights is now more actionable, simple, and powerful, allowing Facebook page owners to improve the way they publish, market, and connect to the people that matter to them. Let's go over some of the key changes we've made. First, you'll notice that the new layout has six tabs, Overview, Likes, Reach, Visits, Posts, and People. The Overview tab provides a snapshot of the last seven days of available data about your page's performance. It focuses on three core metrics, page likes, total and new, post reach, the total number of people who were shown your page and posts, and engagement, the total number of unique people who engaged with your page, as well as the totals of different engagement types. You'll also see your five most recent posts so you can quickly see how they are doing. In the Likes tab, you'll see three core metrics, total page likes, net likes, likes minus unlikes, and where your page likes came from. There are a few new features in Page Insights that will enhance your ability to understand and analyze the data about your page. To find out why a chart went up or down, you can click on it to see more information from that day. You can also drag on the chart to select more than one day. You can also click a metric in the benchmark box on the right to instantly compare data over time. For example, my date selector is set to the last seven days. If I click the organic likes benchmark option, I can compare the average number of organic likes I got in the last seven days, that's the total number of people who liked my page via non-paid channels, to the average number of organic likes I received the seven days prior. The reach tab shows you Post reach, which is broken down by paid and organic. Again, you can click on the chart to see more information from that day. You can also drag on the chart to select more than one day. Here are the posts that people were seeing during this time. Positive engagement, likes, comments, and shares. Negative engagement, a fan hiding a post, unliking your page, and so on. Finally, total reach shows you the total number of people who are shown any activity from your page, such as posts by other people and check-ins. In the Visits tab, you'll see Page and Tab Visits, a breakdown of where your visits are coming from, other page activity that impacts your page, such as mentions of your page in a post and posts by other people on your page, and external refers, sources outside Facebook that are driving traffic to your page. The Post tab is divided into When Your Fans Are Online and Post Types. When Your Fans Are Online shows you when the people who like your page are on Facebook. Point your mouse cursor over a given day to see when your fans are most likely to be consuming post content. Below, All Posts Published displays the posts you made on your page in chronological order, as well as the type of post, targeting information, how many people the post reached, and how much people engaged. You can also learn even more about your post performance using the Reach and Post Clicks, Likes, Comments, and Shares dropdowns. For example, you can select Engagement Rate, the percentage of unique people who clicked on, liked, commented on, or shared a post, divided by the total number of unique people who saw that post, and see this metric for all your posts. If you click on a post link, you'll notice that there's a post details card for your post. These metrics can help you identify the content that resonates with your fans. Finally, Post Types shows average post performance based on reach and engagement. Finally, let's take a look at the People tab. Your Fans helps you understand the people who like your page by looking at age, gender, geography, and language demographic data. Your Fans also compares the demographics of people who like your page to Facebook's total population. Point your mouse cursor to a bar on the age and gender chart to get more specifics about that age or gender breakdown. We let you compare the people who like your page to the overall Facebook audience so you can see if you are particularly popular or unpopular with that demographic. The People Reached and People Engaged tabs break down the people who were shown your posts and the people who have engaged with your posts by the same demographic data. In the future, there will be a tab called Check-ins, which will help you understand the people who have checked in to your location. We hope these new features will help you uncover new ways to engage and grow the right audience for your business or brand. For more information, please visit our Help Center at facebook.com help.